Lobby was murdered in August at the Timber Creek Apartments in Washington County. Jaime Tinoco was just convicted of raping a woman near Otson Stadium last September. Police say Tinoco lived across the street from the apartments where Lobby worked. They arrested him for murder. Now we have team coverage on this tonight. Amy Frazier and Chris Holmstrom, both live in Washington County. And Amy, we're going to begin with you first. Give us the latest. Well, I met with Nicole Lobby's family this afternoon. As you can imagine, they are going through all sorts of different emotions right now. But I can tell you, they are extremely thankful there has finally been an arrest. I woke up this morning, had to pinch myself and make sure this wasn't the cruelest fourth or April Fool's joke ever. For the family of Nicole Lobby, words cannot express the grief they have carried over the last seven months. I'm glad to have a face and a name to, to this that we can move on and the community, community can move on. They take some comfort knowing 17-year-old Jaime Tinoco will face a Washington County judge for her murder and even more importantly, they say, his maker. And I pray that the knowledge of that uh, breaks his soul and humbles him and he fully owns what he has done for that's what's needed now. Investigators tell me Tinoco lived across the street from the apartments in Cedar Mill where Lobby worked. They were complete strangers. On August 19th, investigators say Tinoco stabbed Lobby as she was hanging flyers. They also believe he intended to rape her, but they say it didn't happen. We've learned detectives started looking at Tinoco when he was arrested a month later for raping and assaulting a woman in Eugene. It happened while he was on a supervised trip to an Oregon Ducks game with the Washington County Juvenile Department. And tying that to this, I think it's disturbing, I guess. Last week, Tinoco was convicted in the rape case. A detective there then questioned him and learned what they're calling significant information. Tinoco is now accused of aggravated murder in the death of Nicole Lobby. I think when you hate someone, you give them a piece of your heart. And I do not believe that he's worthy of that. So we will not hate. We will not be bitter. We'll move on. Tinoco turns 18 years old this Friday. We'll keep you posted as he moves through the court system. Reporting live in Washington County, Amy Fraser, Queen 6 News. Obviously more to come. Amy, thank you. What about the suspect? Jaime Tinoco had a juvenile criminal history leading up to Nicole Lobby's murder and the rape at Autzen Stadium. In fact, he was sentenced to probation just weeks before. And our Chris Holmstrom is digging deeper into his criminal past tonight. Chris is live as well. Yeah, Jeff and Ann, Jaime Tinoco has been in trouble with the legal system since July of last year. I found out he was on probation for burglary, assault, and possession of meth. And then just one month after his probation, investigators say he killed 29-year-old Nicole Lobby. The next month in September, he was arrested in Eugene for the rape near U of O's Autzen Stadium. Then, just last week, he was sentenced to 14 years for the rape. I spoke with the juvenile department. They tell me he did undergo a risk assessment and was unlikely to reoffend. Obviously, that was not the case. But I wanted to know, since he was on probation, just why was he allowed out in public? Being on probation means that uh, the court has placed him in the custody of his parents and that he's got certain terms that he has to comply with. And the county would not go into detail about the restrictions, but say they are, have decided this decision by the prosecutor and also defense attorney. I also learned the county has changed their policy in regards to these field trips, and from now on, they will not take the kids on these large sporting events. Reporting live from Washington County, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News. Yeah.